Hello everyone, my name is Carolina Rivera and today I will present my paper Understanding the Development and Implementation of Schools as Community Hubs, a Case Study Approach, which is a reflect of the work that I've been undertaking during my first year as a PhD in the Building Connections project. To begin with my presentation, I would like to provide an historical overview of the community centres in the Australian context. As the literature shows, this kind of facility has been part of the Australian culture for more than 100 years. Over time, the vision for these spaces has been changing. For instance, during the 20s, residents uh, were demanding for spaces as community centers to socialize in their spare time, after work hours, for example. While during the 40s, the vision was changing toward more inclusive and family-oriented spaces. Nowadays, the vision has been reshaped in the form of community hubs, bringing together a variety of public services into a central location. In a regular school context, the following image reflects a very common situation, the underutilization of school infrastructure outside of school hours. At the same time, in the last decades, local governments have been under pressure in how to provide services to the community, especially in the areas where space to build new infrastructure is not easy to find. For both reasons, schools are gaining significant attention to how their infrastructure can serve as community facilities meaning that there are opportunities to maximize these spaces to include the community as users and participants of the school environment while delivering services and programs for them. A review of the literature regarding schools as community hubs reveals some of the research gaps related to how better design and use community facilities in schools. Firstly, the literature exposed the need of research focused on how communities are emerging, considering a more holistic understanding of the multiple factors involved in its development and implementation. Secondly, the literature shows a lack of empirical research about the role of space and the infrastructure of community hubs. And finally, the necessity to consider community members and users' perspectives and voices to explore how community, uh, school community initiatives are responding to their necessities and interests as research in this area has been mainly informed by experts, professional and practitioners' perspectives. So my research will address these gaps through my research questions, but also through my proposed methodological design, which I will explain below. The research question that will drive my project is, how are schools as community hubs being produced through the interplay of planning, design, governance, and management. My project aims to investigate uh, the influence of these factors in the development and implementation of schools as community hubs. The idea is to understand the processes, challenges, success, needs, and opportunities of schools and their communities. Hundreds of schools in Australia are already serving to the community through their hubs. In investigating them, my research will seek insights into the dynamics of their functioning, connecting the processes of planning and design new facilities for communal use with the governance and management approach underpinning the use of these facilities. So the research design of the, the, of the project is based in a qualitative approach and a case study methodology which will support the research aims in exploring how different approaches to planning, design, governance and managing schools as community hubs can operate according to different contexts. At the same time, this study will also engage with an analysis of school as community hubs from a spatial perspective. This will provide a new approach to the research field in which the role of space has not received much attention. This view will be helpful considering the interest to explore the experiences of school engaging with the wider world through facilities that offer and accommodate programs and services for the benefit of children, families and members of the wider community. 
This spatial perspective of the project is embedded in the research design, which will be supported by the conceptual triad of space proposed by Henri Lefebvre. This author acknowledges a multiple nature of space, which allows analyze space from different perspectives, exposing and decoding visible and invisible processes and practices. This conceptual framework, um, Lefebvre conceptual framework, considered the voice of experts regarding schools as community hubs in the first dimension, the conceived space, but also how the users are and workers are experiencing these spaces in the second dimension, the lived experience, while at the same time observing the daily reality of schools as community hubs in the perceived space. In acknowledging uh, these three dimensions through my research, I aim to recognize the different perspectives of how, for example, the connections and disconnections and also the relationships between the three dimensions are shaping the experience of community hubs, revealing, for instance, possible contest view of my research problem. Regarding the case study selection, I anticipate the completion of four case study of community of schools as community hubs in the eastern state of Australia, Victoria, New South Wales, South Australia and Queensland. The selection of my cases will be based in a proposed sampling, which means that I'm going to use uh, a criteria. I'm going to use schools that met my criteria in order to address my research questions. For uh, in doing this, I'm gonna use the I'm gonna conduct some interviews with key informants to support the selection process of the schools, helping me to identify schools um, with the following characteristics. First, schools with an explicit vision to work as a community hub, or including the community as one of the main actors in their vision in the school vision statements. Secondly, schools working in partnership with different organizations to provide services and programs to the community. For example, in partnership with local authorities or non-governmental agencies. Thirdly, schools recognized as exemplars in their work and relationship with the community. And finally, the willingness of each school to share practices and to participate in a research project. Although I anticipate that cases will have common characteristics, I, it is also expected to have some heterogeneity regarding the following criteria. I expect to have governmental and non-governmental schools, different school types, for instance, primary, secondary, or combined schools. Also, a school working as community hub in share or co-located facilities or groups of schools working as a cluster to offer services to the community. And finally, schools purposefully designed as community hubs and schools adapt to work as a community hub. Um, to finalize, this is an overview on how my data collection process will look like considering the three dimensions of space that I stated before. And as you can see, this approach will help to address the research question at the same time that highlight the role of space and the participation of the community to a more profound understanding of the schools. Thanks for listening to my presentation and see you all in the panel.